Hey guys, and welcome to my review today of the Bose Companion 2 Series 3 Multimedia Speakers. Uh, these have continued to be one of the most popular speakers under $100 due to their compact, clean look, and great sound profile. Now, as great as these are though, they won't be the perfect choice for everyone. So in this review, I'll not only cover all the reasons you'll probably love these, but also talk about situations where you might wanna go with something else. And as always, I'll include a link to these speakers down below so you can check out the latest pricing. And if there are any sales or discounts on these speakers, I'll put that down below as well. So I'll start out by showing you the accessories and then give you a closer look at the design and features. Now included with these two Bose speakers is a manual, warranty information, a four foot long auxiliary cable, which is what you use to connect the speakers to your computer, and finally you get a power cord. Now the right speaker is the primary speaker which has all the controls and inputs. On the front of the speaker you have the volume control and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The headphone jack is actually a nice convenience to have uh, so you can plug headphones in directly to your speaker when you want to use headphones. On the back you have the uh, connection ports for the left speaker, your power cable, auxiliary input so you can plug an auxiliary device into them, and a 3.5 millimeter jack for connecting to your computer. Each speaker is seven and a half inches tall, 3.1 inches wide, and 5.9 inches deep. So these work really well for someone looking for computer speakers that won't take up a lot of space. Now Bose has these rated at 22 watts and a single two and a half inch full range driver is included in each speaker. Now regarding the sound quality, Overall, you'll notice an airy, spacious sound that is a very noticeable upgrade to any basic computer speakers or speakers built into your computer, such as with an iMac. Uh, Bose uses something they call True Space Technology, and this is to help give a wider field of sound. This actually does work quite well. Uh, you do get a more airy and spacious sound presentation from these compared to other compact speakers in this price range. As a result, these do a nice job of filling a small room or office with sound. It's not a loud, earth-shaking sound, but a nice, clear sound. So you'll notice both music and movies sound more full and come to life because of the great mid-range presentation and details. Uh, the mid-range is actually the star of the show on these speakers uh, because of how clear and articulate uh, they sound, especially for speakers under $100. Uh, highs also have a nice amount of detail, but they are slightly withdrawn at the higher frequencies, which actually prevents these from sounding too piercing. The benefit of this is that you can actually use these all day at work or for fun, and you don't have to worry about these causing any type of listening fatigue, which can be an issue with other types of computer speakers. Now, the lack of any type of subwoofer and only having one two and a half inch driver means you're not going to get much low end depth or shaking, but this could be a good thing if you don't want to be disturbing people around you you with whatever you're listening to as the low end thumps from bass is often what people will hear through walls. Uh, now there is still some low end feeling to these so they're not devoid of bass but just realize the focus is more on giving you a very clear and musical sound as opposed to something that's going to shake the room. So even though most people will probably really enjoy these speakers there are a few situations where you might want to go with something else. For example, while you can turn these up quite loud without any distortion, uh, those who like to blast music at an extremely loud volume will probably want to go with a different type of speaker. Also, if you're looking for studio monitor speakers, these are not designed to replace those. Uh, while these have a wonderful sound to them that's very clear and enjoyable to listen to, they're not designed to function in the same way as monitor speakers. Uh, finally, if you're looking for speakers that will shake the room with a strong bass presence, these would not be the speakers for you. While these do have some nice bass presence to them, you'll probably want to get a pair of speakers that includes a subwoofer to get the additional bass you're looking for. But otherwise, if you're looking for the best sounding computer speakers under $100 that won't take up a lot of space and will give you a nice clean sound, the Bose Companion 2 Series 3 speakers are definitely the ones to get. Now, they have a nice clean look, they're extremely easy to set up and use, and they produce such an enjoyable sound that you'll be impressed that something so small can sound so good. So hopefully you found this review helpful. Uh, if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And just a reminder that I'll include a link to these speakers down below so you can check out the latest pricing. And if there are any sales or discounts on these speakers, I'll put that down below as well. Otherwise, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask as I enjoy getting to answer as many of your questions as I can. Uh, but thanks so much for watching. Stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next video.